sir in the start of three phase diesel diesel engine alternator so where do we get dc current from xi for exciter for exciter sir my okay. so alternator has an exciter section right yes sir yes sir which the exciter is, is nothing but a small generator for those yes sir exactly yes sir know. it's a small generator which is producing some three phase power which is further rectified and created into dc given to the main alter, main generator section so the exciter needs a dc right to work yes because sir because it need, needs to have magnetic poles created right so it needs dc it comes from avr so when the generator is running that time this is coming from avr now avr is getting input power from the output of the generator itself so when the generator is running it's producing 440 volts one part of the output goes to the avr avr is converting it back to dc of a certain value depending upon the voltage output requirements because avr is a controller automatic voltage regulator so it's a controller it controls the dc power to the exciter and bases this dc power or dc current value that exciter is controlling the dc to the main rotor main section main generator and this dc further is being so this is how it will, the chain reaction will happen well i uh, i have a, one supporting picture here just to explain do you see an alternator yes sir okay uh, you see an alternator here shri aditya yes sir yes sir this is an exciter yes sir this is the main uh, generator this is exciter part of the generator okay. right now this is exciter stator this is exciter rotor this is the main rotor okay and this is main stator so main stator will produce three phase power ryb right it goes to what it goes to as in circuit breaker acb and from there it goes to main switch board correct before the acb a circuit breaker which is looking like this there is a tapping given this tapping ryb it is going to this part here now this part is actually inside the msb only main switch board so what this power is for this is just to read this is simply some kind of a sensing mechanism so you are sensing how much voltage is being produced it's like a sensor voltage sensor so voltage sensing line is going to measuring and protection unit because you need to measure it okay if it is 440 or not protection if it is going under or it is going to higher voltage to lower voltage then action will be taken on that right and also it is going to avr this is for control part so measuring and protection is different from control control is basically to check if it is 440 then fine if it is less than 440 a dc output from the avr need to be changed so this is an avr which is inside the main switch board sometimes it is in the generator also alternator but yeah you will see it in the part it is part of uh msb main switch board now okay. this voltage is coming and if it is 440 then whatever value of dc output was going it will continue to maintain that suppose it is 440 and this one is let's say 35 volts dc it will maintain 35 but if it is this is less than let's say it is instead of 440 this one is 430 so you need to increase the dc output okay so, so with the help of apr only so it from 35 it will go to 37 38 39 40 volts dc like that so two cable will be going out from the avr 
and these two cables red one is the positive black is since it's a dc we have polarity otherwise in ac we don't need polarity now these two cable will go in the exciter rotor sorry exciter stator okay now this exciter stator is represented here you you get three you get the this plus and minus avr input to the exciter stator this is now a magnet and three coils are this is a rotor part this whole section is a rotor if i draw here So the whole, this whole section is nothing but rotor. Okay. So now this rotor, this is the exciter part of the rotor. This is the main part. Okay. And this is a exciter rotor, sorry, exciter stator, exciter rotor. And this is main stator, main rotor. Now this one here, this magnet, electromagnet will produce AC here, three phase AC. This three phase AC needs to be rectified by three phase rectifier. This is nothing but three phase rectifier. This is also rotating, this is also called RRA, rotating rectifier assembly. And it is now rectified to a DC current, plus and minus. These are for safeties, you just ignore these two. Uh, so now, this plus and minus is the rotor stator and this becomes main rotor magnet. These are mag electromagnet, which will induce this three phase AC. And this is what we use out uh, on board ship. This is the output going to MSP. So point here is the AVR gives DC to here. It produces AC here. This AC comes back as a DC here. And this DC is used to produce AC here. And this is what we use. So your question is, what come? Who gives a DC to uh, the, to the exciter? AVR gives it. Okay. AVR. Where does this AVR get this one from? From output it only. You see here from output only. Output of the. You get this power. Yes, sir. But if if somebody asked, suppose the generator was just, it was not running. You just switched on the generator. That time it doesn't have any power. So if you do not have any power, then there is nothing input to AVR. If nothing in input to AVR, there is nothing output of the AVR. Yes, that yes, means sir. you do not have anything here, right? Exactly. Right. You do not have anything. You do not have anything coming here. Well, in that case, there's a, there's a special mechanism given that this part, exciter stator, the core of the exciter stator is designed in such a manner, it will retain certain residual magnetism. Like you take one magnet, you put that magnet to an iron block for maybe a one day, and then you remove the magnet, the iron will also become the magnet. It's called residual magnetism. So even though you, you, are, you it is not an electromagnet, it is behaving like a small permanent magnet. North, south pole will still be there. So electromagnet is very strong. Permanent magnet is very small. No problem. That small magnet will produce some small AC here some small DC here. So that is enough. It, it will not produce for 40 instantly. It will start to produce like 10 volt, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So gradually it will increase. Right. So it will increase, but ultimately you see it very instantly. Like within one second, you will see that this has grown to 440 and then it is coming back as a DC. So this is how we, this is there. So this one is a silicon steel which maintain residual magnetism. So that's the answer in case of starting. Otherwise, DC is coming from AVR. Okay. Does this answer your question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir.